Hey guys, welcome back to the shop. Today I have big news. You see, my family, we're downsizing from this 3,000 square foot house to this 150 foot square foot camper trailer conversion. We'll all share a bed and we'll share the same three gallon toilet. Let's take a look at it. <laughs> Welcome back to the shop. I've got something a little bit different today. Not a project that I'm working on, but a project that my dad built. We're gonna be looking at his camper toy hauler conversion from a cargo trailer that is currently for sale. So if you're interested in this guy, reach out to me with uh, information in my bio and let's chat. It's currently located here in Surprise, Arizona. That's a Metro of the Phoenix area and I'll be holding on to it and helping my dad through the paperwork and getting this thing done. So let's take a look at what we have. So what we're looking at here is a 2021 interstate load trail. This is a seven by 14 with the extra, extra height, eight foot interior. And it is a dual 3,500 pound axle setup with Dexter axles. Now you might notice that it's extra tall and I'm gonna use extra a few times because there's so much extra cool going on here. What we had done previously is we took the axles off and we did a shackle flip, or not a shackle flip, but a spring flip, added perches to the top of our axles, which I'll throw some B-roll here on the screen. And then in the process, we added these Easy Flex dampers in the middle, heavy duty shackles, bronze bushings, and uh, wet bolts all around so that everything is serviceable. So continuing to work our way around, in the back, we've got additional load stabilizers here. And because again, the trailer is so extra tall, we have this super duper tall ramp door here to make easy entry and exit. We'll pull that down here in a bit. We've got our other stabilizer. And then on the front, what we've done is we've added a 30 amp plug here so that you can screw in. This trailer is technically off grid. And normally what we do is we run it, or my, gra my grandpa, normally what my dad does is he runs it off a generator or he can use this plug to plug into a 30 amp plug at an RV site. Water flows directly to the sink. And then inside we'll talk about how that water is captured. Up front, we've got dual 20 pound propane tanks. And this is actually what he's been running the generator off of. We're not using it for cooking, at least at this time. Should you want to improve further on the trailer, you could plumb that inside. And just the simple stuff, we've got our breakaway kit down there. So on the outside, there have been a couple of modifications. Obviously the stickers can all be removed. The more important stuff, there are three RV windows that have been added, all of which open. This one is a slider. On this side, we have the emergency escape window. Well, it's, uh, well, it's an emergency. What? And as you can see right now, we've got a 5,000 BTU AC unit that does a pretty good job of keeping the interior semi-comfortable when camping. And just in case there's any crotch gremlins running around the campsite, so they can't lock you in the trailer, we added a lock side over here so that we can't lock in. And then added the RV latch and another sliding window. Let's go ahead and go on inside. All right, you can see the door is pretty easy to open and it's sprung so that the weight of the door is really light. I'm six foot, six foot one with shoes on and you can see I have a ton of space Normally, what we transport in here, what my dad transports, is this razor over here. And it fits perfectly right along the E-track, and we can tie it down by the wheels. What we see up here is a Happy Jack bed, and this is the bedroom that we're standing in. It's super easy to crank down and lock down on the sides. Currently, we're up on the safety locks. And then as we come in, you can see that AC unit. This does just pop in and out. It's a simple process to get it together, to get it out. Not entirely sealed, but enough again to keep you comfortable in here. The walls have been insulated with high density foam, not spray foam, but foam board. 
The floor and the ceiling hasn't yet been insulated. As far as the stats on our figures in here, you wanna give me the stats? Oh boy, well, let's see what my measurements were. From the back to the cabinet here, we have 125 inches of storage capacity. As far as width, we have 75 inches from the framing of the Happy Jack or 79 inches to the wall. And inside we have 94 and a half inches to the ceiling. Back here, our total clearance is 76 and three eighths. And then to the door, we have 86 and a half inches. So you can get really tall stuff in here if needed. Moving along the walls, we've got our little privacy screen here. I just need some privacy. Now this is just held in up here on some E-Track, easy to come out. Our spare tire mounted to the wall. And inside of our cabinet space, we've got a nice storage cabinet up top, breadboard space, our microwave, and refrigerator. Everything is set on 120 power at this time. And then for the really crafty, I think I just flushed it. You can bring your own toilet along too. Well, you know, we're dry camping anyhow. That's an easy one to dump. We've got cabinets across the top, our spare TP. And then as far as our water system, our water plums in from outside to the sink. And then down underneath, we're on a true off grid. We're just dumping into a six gallon bucket. As far as electrical, our power plumbs directly into this breaker box and then out into the trailer through GFCI. And as a bonus, we're gonna go ahead and throw in the uh, seven inch Halo View screen and rear view camera. I'm gonna have the price down in the description because, well, I don't know where it's gonna sell or if we're gonna have to augment that price. And if I stuff it here in the video, well, that doesn't quite work because then none of those things line up. So take a look down in the description for the current price and reach out to me if you have any questions. Thanks for watching.